I'm a cop. You're not a cop. You have a badge? Not yet. Not ever. A gun? Soon. No, oh, Max, you're not getting a gun. Welcome back to DBL. That was a clip from Wild Cards featuring the little cutie Jason Priestley. Earlier we spoke with him all about his crazy times in the 90s and how he learned to play a con artist from actual real life experience. Take a look. Please welcome to the show. We love him. Jason Priestley. Yes. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, so you play a con man in Wild Cards, and I know that you're an honest Canadian fellow. <laughs> I'm married to an honest Canadian fellow. But have you ever been conned in real life? I, I have, actually. I got conned by a guy. It was, this was a long time ago, but I got to, I got conned by this guy. And um, so I, I, I built a lot of the character of George around uh, around him, he was this super charming, super funny, really affable guy. Um, uh, fun to be with, you know. Knew, knew, knew what kind of buttons to push uh, in, you know, on me and, and the, on the other people involved to sort of, to sort of, you know, give us the give us all all the good feels. So we so we never questioned really what was going on. All right, Jason, I'm gonna go off script here a little bit because I just watched Tombstone the other day, one of my favorite Ooh, movies. Oh, yeah. Yes. Shout out to Billy Breckenridge. Mm -hmm. You make a little appearance in there. That's gotta be awesome to play a part <laughs> like that. It's such an iconic movie. It is. It, it was. It was. A, it was. A, it was an unbelievable experience. It was a great honor to be a part of that project. That movie is. That movie still stands out oh, today, right? Which is amazing. So great. I love that movie. All right, on to my other one of my favorite shows, 90210. And I got to give a little preset here. When I was in college playing okay. football, I loved 90210. And when I first got there, I'm like, hey, it's Wednesday night. Are you guys going to watch 90210? Everyone's <laughs> like, what are you talking about, 90210? By the end of the season, I had half the team in my room. They're like, oh my God, go Steve, go Brandon. Like, I'm like, I knew you guys watched. I knew you did. But let's get to, let's get to your cast on 90210. You stay in touch sure. with all your co stars to this day what you guys, what kept you guys so close throughout these years well I, I I think just going through an experience like that and making that show together for as long as we did um, and and just being a part of a show like that that's such a global phenomenon it's uh, it's an experience that really bonds you together and I, I think that's why we've been a, been able to stay in as close as we have for as long as we have I couldn't imagine being associated with anything that was described as a global phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> and what? I mean, it just, it, uh, you, you're absolutely right. I mean, this, this show was, was a changing moment in television and obviously we were all watching, but you had the experience of, of, of being immersed in this world. So I have to know, is there like a crazy fan experience that you can remember from the days of 90210? <laughs> There's gotta be many. Yeah, yes, well, one, we only there, have time for yes. one. <laughs> but the, cra the craziest one was I came home one night and uh, this fan girl had snuck in oh. through the dog door of my house and was in my bed <laughs> wearing a pair of my uh, boxer briefs. No. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. That's scary. That is terrifying. <laughs> it, yeah, it, is, it, it was kind of scary. I thought I had better home security than that. <laughs> oh my but, God. Um, Wait, just, yeah, she just was there. the boxers? Let, 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 Ju uh, yes, just the boxers. So I had to convince her to put her clothes back on, and then I escorted her out oh of my house, my which was... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you you should have called yeah. over Ian Ziering to help you out, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 All right, so you mentioned that you actually punched... This is off Speaking script. of which... Speaking of, I think you could handle your own. You punched Harvey Weinstein in the face many years ago. you got to tell us that yeah. story. Well, I mean, I was at a, I, I, look, I, I thought he was Janet Jackson's bodyguard and he grabbed me and he asked me to step outside and, you know, Harvey's Harvey's uh, got some size on him. So I just said, I'm not going anywhere with you. And I and I slammed him and all of a sudden there were security guards all over me and, <gasps> and I was being escorted out of the party. And I, did, I had no idea. I was like, why? What? Why are these guys like I just got into a thing with Janet Jackson's bodyguard? Like, what's the big deal? <laughs> And, you know, I found out, I found out the next morning when I read the paper. Oh, yeah. oh my, my goodness. God. <laughs> oh, that wow. is wild. Okay, so mm. here's the thing. I had a picture of you on my wall as a kid. Yes, I did. And teen idols right. seem to come around once every generation. So what is something that you've learned in your career that you wish you could go back to the 90s and tell yourself in preparation? Get a doggy door that locks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, copy that. Um, I, I, I think I would just tell myself to, to enjoy it more. You know, I was when, at, at that age, 
for some reason I was I was so focused on the future and um, and and you know the bit, p- potential pitfalls that I could fall into in the future that I didn't really take the time to enjoy the experience that was happening to me then. Um, so I, I would just tell myself to, you know, in, enjoy the ride a little more. I love that. Yes. Oh, my gosh. What a career. DBL yeah. Nation, you got to check out Wild Cards Wednesdays on The CW. I cannot wait. Thank you so much, Jason. Congratulations. Soon, yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Awesome.